Good afternoon. After a week of indecision, APS is letting new superintendent Luis Valentino resign instead of firing him. Well, APS is giving him a nice buyout to go away. No one wants to explain the decision. News 13's Haley Rush is live uptown at APS headquarters where the board announced the move today. Haley. Kim, while everyone here was waiting this morning to hear if they would fire the new superintendent, the board announced that they were letting him walk in with $100,000. I move that the APS Board of Education authorize and agree to the terms of the voluntary resignation. After three days of closed door meetings, the board finally announced a mutual agreement. We're moving forward. Moving forward, but not saying much more. We had long and hard discussion about how to move this district forward and are comfortable and confident about the statement that we've issued. She's referring to this joint statement from APS and Valentino, the only insight board members are giving. In it, it says, given the party's differing views of the current incidents and challenges in the district, and believing they have fundamental differences regarding the future of the district, an agreement has been reached. But the settlement paperwork takes a different tone, saying nothing in this agreement or in its execution admits wrongdoing of any kind by either party. We're going to make sure that we have the right people in place, uh, the best of our ability. This is all over Valentino's personal hiring of APS Deputy Superintendent Jason Martinez. He wasn't forced to do a background check like everyone else. Turns out he's awaiting trial on child molestation charges in Denver, where he used to work. He lied his way in here. I don't know how, but he did. As for questions about Valentino to the board. And again, go to the statement. That was off limits. Now, APS will pay Valentino for the next month not to work. That'll be $20,000. On top of that, he'll get $80,000, making his total buyout $100,000. Now, his resignation is official October 1st. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Haley. Now, the board named Raquel Reedy as interim superintendent. Reedy currently oversees elementary education at APS. We'll hear from, hear from her about her ideas for the district coming up in our next half hour. Now, as part of the Valentino deal, APS also wrote a reference letter for him. In it, APS says, quote, Dr. Valentino provided leadership and vision for the district under increasingly difficult circumstances. It goes on to say Dr. Valentino believes strongly in preserving respect and dignity of every individual. APS Chief Financial Officer Don Moya might agree, disagree with that last part. You'll recall Valentino's first scandal where he accidentally sent text messages to Moya saying he wanted to fire Moya. The texts were meant for Education Secretary Hannah Scandera. Moya remains on paid leave. APS does have a habit of buying out superintendents. In 2002, Brad Allison was handed $380,000 to leave. After a very public battle with alcohol and drug addiction, he took the district to court and lost. Then last year, the district gave Winston Brooks $350,000 to leave. It came after an investigation involving Brooks' wife, but to this day, the board still won't reveal details. Board member Stephen Michael Casada isn't happy with the trend here. Somebody has a voodoo doll out there, I'm just saying. 